Welcome to my first Featured Friday card. So Feature Fridays are going to be a new addition to the Cat's Meowth, and basically every Friday I'm going to be reviewing and featuring a new card that I'm adding to my collection. So that could be pretty much anything. It could be a new trade card that I've gotten in for a new set, it could be something that I've bought online, uh, like this particular jumbo card, or uh, maybe a Japanese promo card, Japanese cards. There's all sorts of cards that I still don't have in my collection, and um, I thought a featured Friday would be an interesting way to kind of showcase some of the the cards that maybe not as many people uh, not many people know about, or you know maybe just really rare cards like shinies from the new set that a lot of people love to see. So for my first Friday, I decided to go with a jumbo. Uh, promo Charizard. Now this is really awesome. The jumbo cards are the only non-standard cards um, uh, that I collect. Like I don't collect any of the other Pokemon toys, plushies, packaging, really anything like that. I just collect the standard cards and jumbo cards. And I'll admit my jumbo card collection is really not that big. I haven't even started on the Japanese and for the English cards. I mostly have the newer cards, but I've got a few old ones and my collection's probably all of maybe 15 cards. So I still have a pretty good size once list on my website, The Cat's Meowth, and so if you have any um, other jumbo cards lying around that maybe you'd be interested in trading that I don't have yet, definitely hit me up because um, I'd love to expand that part of my collection. This was a recent eBay sale though, and this is a Koro Koro promo uh, Charizard. This actually was a Japanese release, but as you can tell, it's in English. It makes it a little more unique and I think kind of cool. It was, uh, Koro Koro is a Japanese magazine that uh, does all sorts of cool things, and they often give out freebie cards in their uh, magazines. This was back in an April 2000 issue, so it's, what, um, 12, uh, 12 and a half years old. So it's in pretty good condition. Uh, I definitely call it near mint mint, not gem mint or mint, but near mint mint. So it's a really nice addition to my collection. It's non-holographic. Uh, it's featuring uh, the original base set Charizard with the same artwork by, uh, I believe it's um, Mitsuru Ar 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 Arita, something like that. Anyways, uh, th this artwork was featured in base set, base set 2, legendary collection, and then Mitsuru, um, or Mi Mitsuhiru, yeah, I believe that's, I'm probably butchering his name, I'm not good with Japanese, Japanese names, but the really cool artist, he then uh, took his card and tweaked it a little bit, kind of made it a little sharper, a little cooler looking, and this was uh, reprinted again in the Stormfront set. Uh, this this exact card though has been seen in a few other areas as well, including a uh, a best CD collection. But the artwork was a little bit different. It was done uh, that one was done by um, I believe Ken Sugimori, uh, Sugimori I believe. But it featured the same uh, same Pokemon, same attack, same uh, Pokemon power. So uh, that's pretty much uh, I believe all the background on the actual card. Uh, some differences between this card and uh, the actual card, I mean, other than it just being huge, uh, we can kind of compare it to a normal size card here, is this cool little dragon symbol, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. That's a pretty good, yeah, you probably see it fairly well there. So there's that cool little symbol in the on the side where a normal set symbol would be. And then along the bottom, we've uh, got some information in Japanese, which is probably, uh, you know, that's probably the Koro Koro um, magazine logo, at least from back in April of 2000. Uh, but other than that, uh, there's really not too much else to say. I really like that it's the green wing Charizard rather than the more common Charizard that a lot of people see. I'll kind of show off the back a little bit, too. Uh, some of the, the Jumbo cards have a This Is Not For Play actually printed on the back. This one wasn't one of them. And what was really awesome is that I actually, uh, you can see this is in a Jumbo top loader. I want to get more of these. Uh, if anyone knows uh, or has links to where I can get more of these Jumbo top loaders, I really haven't done any research into them, but I want some. Right now my Jumbo cards are being stored in like page protectors, which are fine, and I will still, after putting them in a top loader, will continue to store them in the page protectors, but the top loader just makes me feel a little bit better about keeping them 
um, in the best condition that they possibly can be. Now, uh, the only other thing I think I should talk about is the value of this card. So right now, you can get this card for around 10 bucks on eBay. It's pretty cheap, although if you look at the completed listings, it can definitely go for higher than that. Uh, if you if you wait it out like I did, you can pick it up around 10 bucks. If you kind of want it really fast, you're probably going to end up paying, you know, 15 to 25 And there's several on there that have actually been selling for 30 to 50 in the past few months as well. So it really just depends on uh, doing your research, watching the auctions, and bidding at a good price. Or not good price, but bidding at a good time. So I think that's a pretty good wrap-up for my first Featured Friday video. And stay tuned for more Pokemon battles, pa Pokemon openings, the cross boundaries, or boundaries cross, whichever it is. Um, can never remember which one it is. Uh, I'm going to my first pre-release for that set this weekend. Also getting a booster box from a judge that uh, this weekend, so I'll have those openings soon. And then, of course, next Friday... I'm going to show another featured card. So right now, maybe in the future, I'll kind of post a schedule of cards to come and kind of give you sneak peeks at maybe uh, next week's card. But for now, I'm just going to let it be a mystery. So definitely comment below on what you think of uh, featured Friday cards. I've, I've gotten some uh, good feedback when I proposed a card of the month before, so I'm assuming a card of the week will probably go over, go over even better. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos.